Now this is a story all about how our backyard twist turned upside down and I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there and tell you how we did an extension to our townhouse in Kingston. <laughs> wow guys, I am no singer but we've been talking a lot about the construction process but we haven't really showed you the process. So this is part one of our construction process. Officially day one of our home extension. I would say I've done some work before but maybe that's planning and days here. Even though it's included lifting up some of our old patio tiles. But today is the official day that the, the mason is gonna come on site and we're gonna start digging the foundation. So it should be very interesting. I would say it's very difficult to find good masons that's also reasonable. We're gonna have a whole video on that, um, how to evaluate, how to identify some good prices. And I would, I got quite a bit of prices from contractors, different masons. Um, but the way that that I, that, well, that we chose is just to find a mason that we can work with um, already. Agreed on our price. We're just gonna get that signed up. And I created a spreadsheet to work out everything. So that will be pretty interesting to show you some of the comparisons. And it's as close as possible as I could get in terms of the pricing that I worked out. I don't think it's it's far fetched. What we used was the master build on rate sheet as our initial baseline. Alright, day two update. Tuesday and Royal on the site. It's a lot of dirt already. And we haven't even finished digging. So we're gonna be digging three feet down. That's the depth. That's about 18 inches wide for the foundation. So over this area is about three now. Three, three and a little bit. Then we're gonna have a big column right here. So it's gonna be wider. It's gonna be about four by four, and it's gonna be the deepest spot. So I have a column that goes up. It's gonna support most of the the upstairs on this side. So because we're going on the second floor, we have to ensure that our foundation is robust enough. So that's why we go three feet deep. And then we have over that wall to dig out and also one other line right here to separate the patio from the room. Uh, as best as possible, we're gonna be using drywall for more internal separations. It's, it's easier for us. <laughs> one, of the, one of the biggest thing that we have been seeing is a lot of pipes, like some of these pipes I don't even know where they go to and we have been cutting trying to trace them rerouting some of them so you can see that a few pipes over here have been rerouted just so the the masons and the workers that's digging they can have enough space to work there so even right here you can see that this pipe went right across so I had to cut it it's dripping though so I'm going to gonna fix that I have a drain pipe right here that's a four inch wastewater pipe and some more fittings here one came from the roof there's more pipes over there that I'm trying to identify I even identified about four new pipes that doesn't go to I don't I don't even think it goes to the house but once we move that tree, you're going to see the pipes and I'm going to show you that. So to, to speed up our work, we have someone that's dedicated to the steel work. And this makes more sense. So once the foundation is, is digged out, then 
we'll be putting in the steel so the, the matting is the first one that will go on the, the bed of the foundation and then you'll have the columns coming up and we have actually over supported our steel work so spacing is is I think eight inches apart so I'm going to show you what's like a stirrup and we have two different types of steels that we're using so we have a half inch which is this one which is the thicker one and then we have three eight inch that we're using which is a thinner one that's used to to bend and create these what are called stirrups so we have created five five columns already later when the steel man is here i'm going to show you them so we created about four straight columns and then we have a two l columns and it's as the name suggests it's it's pretty simple we have the biggest column that we're going to be creating today <coughs> which that will be a two two feet wide and one foot thick column so the steel isn't gonna be two by one but um, the dimension is on the it's on the diagram so we're going off the diagram there and I think it will have eight eight steel in it so I'm gonna show you the diagram and then I'm gonna show you how they build that steel stay tuned for some more updates Alright, so steel work. So quite a quite a bit of steel. And uh, there are some straight columns and then look at that massive one. It's going to be two feet wide. So we're gonna put some drain pipe from above in it from the bathroom. Same with this one because our main pipes to the house come here. So we're gonna do a lot of rerouting of these pipes. Even that drain pipe is going to be changed. But we don't want to have, well, we're trying to have as little pipe running under the decking for the lower floor as possible. So like all of these, we're going to reroute them. That's also a pretty good street work. Yes, you see they have any problem with it. So another straight one. So this is the wall for the helpers quarters. It's a pretty big helpers quarters. So it's gonna be 10 by 15 and we're gonna put a bathroom and a closet in that space. And this is one of the L steel work. So you can see, it looks like an L. We have our matting on the ground. And then these, the blocks are going to go over these. So these are spaced 16 inches apart based on the size of each block pocket. And there's another straight column right in the middle. So we're gonna have a window right beside it. And then over here, it's going to be the bathroom. So there's a minor problem it's not really on our side but have a neighbor she did an extension however our foundation is deeper so they're gonna do something called undermining i think to support the neighbor foundation and our foundation because we're trying to put our block as close as possible to here but you can see that some part of the footing is is out so to get the block as flush as possible we're going to um, do what's called undermining and they're gonna fill underneath the pockets 
as best as possible so it's going to take a little more material but it's it's the proper way and then to try and hug the block so we don't want the blocks to be zigzag so that's why they're going to try and do the undermining then we had a fence here so we're going to just repair the fence while we're coming up through the foundation but yeah that's it for the initial steel work but the column over there is pretty huge and heavy took us about an hour to get it up and straight yeah so I didn't have the much footing off I was putting it up because I was helping so, pretty big so yes we're casting the foundation today All of the foundation has been poured and blocked up and the wall is up but this room and this wall is almost up and this wall is up as well I mean they have a few more block heights to get to the top of the wall but if you ask me this is a lot of work that was done in just three days I didn't expect to see so much work completed and uh, it's amazing. It looks as if we're going to be finished on time or before time and get out of construction zone. Uh, but this is it. So this is going to be a patio area and that's going to be a living quarters. So I'm excited guys. So we had had a, some blocks right here. I think we have maybe about four or five hundred blocks right here, and then we have another pile over that side. Some water pipes, steel. We've gone through over a ton of steel already. I'm going to show you the amount of steel that's in the decking right there. So these are some of the materials and we have used up quite a bit gravel and sand already to come out of the foundation so you see we have a lot of dirt and we had we had even more dirt than this before because we did some backfill based on the foundation so currently right here is our kitchen so we had blocked up that wall in our previous you know and that is actually where our tea bar, our tea station, our drinks bar is. So we're creating a patio right over here. It is, I think, 11 by 11. That's the current dimension. And then beside it, we have our helpers quarters slash bedroom and bathroom. So normally when you think helpers quarters, think of a small space but this is a this is a pretty big room it is the current space in total is 11 and a half sorry 10 in 10 by 15 11 by 15 and then we're gonna take four feet out of that for the bathroom and closet so it's pretty wide so in the end we'll have a 11 by 11 by 10 room because we're gonna put up drywall in the middle so to me that's a that's a very big size room and uh, then upstairs we're going up so on top we're gonna add another bedroom over that side and when i go upstairs i'll show you and then we're gonna 
the converting this existing bedroom into our primary suite where we'll be adding on a pretty big master bathroom and closet but a lot of plumbing has been done so far and a lot of burst pipes cut pipe so this is one example and we had to try and identify where the pipes run and over there again so we're digging out this to connect back to one of our existing drain because we have a bathroom around there and we have a existing manhole which we're going to move from under the house to out here so we can access it so we're going to extend those pipes and then connect it back to the pipe is actually here so we, we just had to cover it up a little so we could put in the props and then we have another manhole that this pipe connects to you can see we have a lot of plumbing fittings so let me just show you the room so should be helpers quarters or it can also be a bedroom so it doesn't have to be used as a helpers quarter so we designed it like this so the space is adequate it's not tight even if a helper is going to be around here they should still be comfortable more pipes so that's a lot of piping so our tank used to be over in this corner we had to demo the slab that it was on you can even see a little pipe valve right there so we're gonna we're gonna move that so this is a ground floor room and fencing so columns went up we had uh, one, I think we had six columns that we were putting up and this is a big column this is a two by one column which will be supporting a lot of the load above so that's what's going on on the ground floor and like for this block work, i think they completed in like two and a half days three days so they did a lot of the block work very quickly and i think it's neat straight is level came out here with my level was pretty much here when they were laying a lot of it most of it similar thing with the columns all right so going upstairs and we got some props metal props there are a lot of people talking about bamboo but i prefer the metal more sturdy and we got them on a pretty good deal a1 equipment we rented them from and the pickup came in handy so we can transport a lot of those things we have transported cement in it and some other fittings all right so you can see a lot of steel work going on i said this is about a ton of steel this is a mixture of half inch and three eight inch so what we did is we had put down one layer first i'm not sure if you can see the different layers but you have over support and then you have a additional layer on top of that so So right over here is going to be our primary bedroom. Sorry, over here is our primary bedroom. So we're going to convert this window into our doorway, which will lead over into our closet first. And then over here, we're going to have a toilet. It's going to be a water closet, so we're going to put drywall around it, so it's self-contained. Then that pipe is the pipe that comes from the roof for our drain. So, show the downstairs so it runs, goes right down into that column. This is going to be our shower. It's going to be a pretty big shower. I think it's going to be five feet wide, pretty broad. And show you the toilet. Then we're going to have a double vanity over here. So, we did the piping for that. Also, going to have a power outlet close to it. So, we have to run a I think it's a G, GFI or GCFI outlet for that our hot water cold water and also a pipe that will go up to fill our water tank and also a next one that will redistribute back into it so that existing pipe now is our water pipe 
that comes from our tank upstairs. So we're just gonna tie it back into the one of these pipes so it goes and circle it back inside. And we already put some of our outlets and also our lights. So you can see over there. This is in the cantilever and it's at the edge of our decking. So light power. These are going to be outlets again. Then we're going to have a tub over here, which it ties back into the tree screen. Our light socket, light, and another light. So we did most of the light work for downstairs already. Um, so what will happen is that we will try and do as much on this decking. So you can see that there's some of the outlets already that's run. So like right here, it's going to be a a wall is going to go there so it's going to be back to back where we have a plug on each side then a plug over here in that bedroom then we already have some plugs behind this wall and right here so one of the cool things that me and sasha wanted is that when we're on the toilet sometimes our phone we use our phone and the battery there so we wanted to ensure that we have a plug in our water closet so we already have a plug on the back of this wall so they're just gonna join it and join it to that circuit so when we're on our toilet we can actually charge our phone which I think is very convenient and cool and I showed you that we're gonna have a plug here where Sasha can can use that when she's doing her makeup and things like that and the plug will also be in her closet we're gonna have a seat in so it's going to be a I would say a narrow closet but very very long so 11 and a half feet of closet space on one side and then on the next side we're going to have maybe like a seating or a vanity area so i think that's more than adequate and that's it stay tuned for more